good day and you are welcome once again to Express Updates. My name is Beaches Bampuadu. Please stay for our story. In our first story, Chairman of the Forum, Dr. Isaac Bampuadu, has expressed worry over the delayed transfer of the 1% past credit to registered schemes of members. He expressed worry that the delay by SNEETS in the transfers has affected investment of pensioners. Subsequently, leadership of the unions have given government and SNEETS a 14-day ultimatum, which commences today, 29th February 2024, to effect the transfers. Touching on the top-up allowances, the unions asked President Akufuado to fulfill promise made to pensioners during the 2020 May Day celebrations. The Graduate Unemployed Nurses and Midwives Association has confirmed its intention to embark on a large-scale protest dubbed Clear and Post As Now. In an exclusive interview with Clock TV, the Vice President of the Association, Mubarak Swale, stated that they have resorted to demonstration after all efforts to engage governments proved futile. He lamented that members are struggling to cope with the current economic downturn in the country and reiterated that governments through appropriate bodies must issue financial clearance and postings to grant unemployed graduates, nurses and midwives employment opportunities. Thank you so much for paying attention to our plight by reaching out to us to air our concerns or to air our problems as far as the unemployment situation is concerned. Um, recently, we issued a public release that was about some few, about some few weeks ago, um, announcing to the public that we had been unemployed for years, almost four years now, because we completed in 2024. And till now, we have not had a a proper response from the Ministry of Health or the Ministry of Finance after several follow-ups. So we issued a release that if the government did not come to our aid by ordering the two aforementioned um, agencies to release our financial clearance and postings, we are subsequently going to hold a press conference and afterwards demonstrate across the various regions of the country. I think a day before the sonar, that was on Monday, we held a press conference in Accra. Until now, we have not had any engagements. We have not had any requests to meet up with, uh, with the Minister of Finance or with the Minister of Health to carve out a strategic and then uh, any reliable path towards the, uh, our, our employment, that is towards the clearance and the boosters. So the press conference, the, after the press conference, we had no option than to proceed with our plans of demonstrating. And that is just the order we have followed till now. He also added that they will continue to protest even if government fails to adhere to their grievances. As we speak, or as it stands, all the indications show they have already refused to listen to our concerns or our calls. Because if they were ready to uh, grant us a clearance if they were ready to at least help their younger brothers and sisters who have been unemployed for four solid years after passing their license exams and after going through their national service and having all their requirements. I think they have re responded to us by now. And from all indications and the way we sit, it appears our concerns have been falling on deaf ears and they are not ready and willing to listen to us. And we've struggled enough, we've suffered enough. So as long as the current uh, service school continue, will continue to be on the streets because being on the streets is the meaning we know. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a tough task, but we are already struggling. So we'll continue to be on the streets. So God knows when they will listen to our, our, our plans. The association therefore calls on all relevant stakeholders to join hands in the demonstration on Friday, March 1st, 2024, at the Tamale Jubilee Park. We are calling on all, calling on all stakeholders, the media, the parliament, the judiciary, and the executive. We know the power lines in the executive to issue us the financial clearance for us to be posted. But 
the intervention of the parliament and the other stakeholders I've mentioned, I'm sure the governments will pay attention to the problems we are outlining. Because being at home for all solid years without any concrete steps to get you posted is frustrating. Most of our people are, uh, you know, breadwinners of their families. And in these harsh economic times where your parents sponsored you to go to school, come out and then at least assist them take care of your younger siblings. After competing for four years, you are still seated watching them and expecting that they give you up on at the end of the day. So it's frustrating. We are calling on every relevant stakeholder to draw the attention of the government to the fact that numerous nurses, over thousands of nurses who have qualified to practice are struggling at home and our skills are decaying. They should all come on board. This is not about us alone. It's about the public. Kenyan broadcaster and media personality Bella Mundi has expressed excitement over her appointment as an advocate for global citizen. As part of her new role with the organization, the media personality takes on pertinent issue of gender empowerment and climate action. She looks forward to create real change for a better world on her advocacy journey. Speaking to her ex page on social media, Bella Mundi called her followers to action. She emphasized that their support would champion her focus on empowering girls and women, tackling climate changes, and as well as break systemic barriers. Thanks so much for staying with us. My name is Beatrice Bampadu. Have a good day.